Hello everybody, it's me AcePy109 or Captain John, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some potassium nitrate and powdered sugar rocket fuel. In this tutorial, I will not be showing you how to make the actual rocket, I'm just going to be showing you how to make the fuel, so the flammable part. Uh, I will have a part two of how to actually build the rocket. <laughs> Here's my first batch of rocket fuel that I made a while ago, and I'm going to be making a second batch. And if you're wondering what this stuff does, you can see it right here. So as you can see, this chemical compound or whatever is pretty flammable, and that's why it's a great fuel. One of the most important things is having potassium nitrate. That's the part that has the oxygen in it, and it's the oxidizer. This brand of stump remover is 100% potassium nitrate, which is great. It's a white, it's a fine white powder. And the second ingredient is just going to be some powdered sugar. Make sure it's pure cane. I'm not sure if it really makes a difference, um, but most of the tutorials I've seen all use pure cane sugar. So I would just say go ahead and use that. This recipe is going to be very simple. 35% powdered sugar, 65% stump remover. And to make it even simpler, I'm just going to be using 35 grams of powdered sugar and 65 grams of stump remover to make 100 grams of propellant. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and measure out 35 grams of powdered sugar. We are at 35 grams of the powdered sugar. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, once again, tar the scale, reset it, and calibrate it. And I'm just going to go ahead and add the stump remover straight in. And this stuff comes out as a powder, so you want to squeeze the bottle and it'll spray it out. And there we are. We're at 65 grams of the potassium nitrate. These two chemicals are mixed. This is now a explosive compound. So to mix this compound, you really do not want to have anything metal because you could risk igniting it. And I'm just going to stir it like this. And you're also trying to crunch up all the little balls of powdered sugar that are still in there. So once it's kind of mixed enough, put the, I like to shake the container and that helps it mix even more. Alright, so you want to make sure it's not sticking to the top. So as you can see, it's pretty mixed up now. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and go outside and get a little spoon of this and see if it's flammable. Alright, so I've got a strike out here and my rocket fuel. And you want to use a plastic spoon because any metal in there could risk making a spark or something like that. So you always want to use plastic once this mixture is all combined. So I'm just going to lay some of it out like that. Make sure you have goggles on and eye protection and whatever protection you feel is necessary. There it goes. A pretty good amount of smoke right there. But as you can see, it's all burnt up. So that was a success. And that is good rocket fuel right there. Everybody, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And I hope you found this rocket fuel video helpful or interesting or something like that. Stay tuned and please let me know if you want to see the actual rocket motor video where I show you how to build a real rocket motor using this real easy to get rocket fuel. Well, everybody, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.